Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. One second. Sorry about that. Um, or if this is the very first video that you're... So, hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for all. And today in this video, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 messy room pet peeves. Now, I personally hate having a messy room, but sometimes it's so hard for me to keep my room clean when I have too much stuff everywhere or I have cats in my old my room. I actually have cats in my old room right now, which makes it very, very hard for me to clean my old room. And so I'm going to get started talking about all of my pet peeves when it comes to having a messy room. And I've had a messy room quite a lot when I was younger, and it was very hard for me to keep my room clean. Wait, I'm going to talk about my pet peeves. And I remember cleaning my room when I was probably like 20, and I spent like a whole day cleaning it because it took me all day. And I was like, getting stuff out of my room that I didn't want and I was like reorganizing it and everything and so I'm gonna get started talking about all of my messy room pet peeves so here we go so number one in my list happy tripping over stuff so that's one thing that bothers me about having um a messy room is tripping over stuff like I remember when having stuff everywhere like sometimes I'd have games out sometimes I have toys out and when I was younger and then I would trip over them and that was like very very annoying when I would trip over stuff because it really irritates me when I would trip over my stuff because it's actually not safe to trip over things yeah especially when it's your toys or something it really bothers me when I trip over stuff so I'll finally pick it up or sometimes if I'm irritated I just kick it out of the way and which is not good because you don't want to kick stuff out of the way because it's like annoying when you get tripped tripped by just random stuff. Number two on my list would have to be not being able to find things. Now this is one thing that bothers me about having a messy room is when I can't find things. I remember one time when I came home from the Apple store I was looking for a warranty on my old computer and because my hard drive had crashed at the time and my mom came upstairs to help me look and we came in and my room was just a disaster and we couldn't even find my warranty. We did end up finding my warranty. I think it, it was in my old desk that I kept for my old computer. And so we had spent the whole day, I spent the whole day with my mom cleaning my room and we went through things, threw things out and then we just like went crazy just cleaning up my room so it would look much better. Number um, three on my list would have to be, and I think we were able to find my warranty for my Apple computer, which was a good thing because then we got my computer fixed. Number three on my list would have to be stepping on things. Now that's one thing that bothers me is when I step on things because sometimes it really hurts or sometimes I break something that's super important, which I don't like. And so it really irritates me when I step on something because it just hurts my foot or I break something that's really important. So if I ever, so I, so usually before, if I have stuff on my floor before I um, step on it, I usually just pick it up and stuff. And I just hate when I step on things because it's not good. Number four on my list would be my furniture getting stained. Now that has happened to me a few times and I do have have like my dressers slightly stained. It's not too bad, it's just got some stuff on it, but I've tried to get it out, but it doesn't really um, come out. So I don't know if you can see, but this dresser is slightly stained, but I've tried to get some of these stains out, but they don't come out. I've used wood soap and it doesn't really work. And I've used like, um, yeah, I've used wood soap and just regular water and it doesn't really come out. So yeah, this is an old dresser anyway. I don't remember where we got it. I think it's from Pottery Barn or something. I don't know. Most of my furniture at the time was from Pottery Barn. My desk is also slightly stained. I've tried to clean that too, but nothing comes out. And no matter how hard I work to clean it, it just doesn't come out. So here's my old dresser. This is pretty stained from the dust and it's got like little markings around it, like water rings and stuff. So it's pretty dusty. So that is one thing that really irritates me about my room being a mess is just my furniture getting stained and I hate that so much because a lot of the stains I've tried to get out and none of them come out. Number five on my list would have to be having my stuff everywhere. Now that is one thing that bothers me is like I usually will have my knitting everywhere which kind of like is very irritating because I sometimes like to keep it out and stuff with uh, but I have been lately putting it in my knitting bag so that my knitting stays um, save, especially from the cats, because my, 
I have cats in my old room and um, it he helps keep my stuff safe when I keep it in the knitting bag so then it doesn't get cat fur and it doesn't get lint on it, which is a good thing. Number six on my list would have to be not being able to see my floor. Now that, now my old room is just a disaster right now because I can barely see my floor because there's stuff everywhere and I can't even clean it with all the cat stuff. And it's just really, really messy when it, when ha, with the cats in there. And it's just, I can't even move stuff around with the cats in there because it makes it so incredibly hard. Hard and there's just too much stuff in there. Number seven, uh, number six on my list would have to be not being able to see my floor. Now, I hate when I can't see my floor in my room when it's a mess and I have stuff everywhere because it just makes it so, it just doesn't make my room look nice when I can't see my floor. It really bothers me because then I end up tripping over whatever it is. Number seven on my list would have been not having enough room to put things. Like, I'll, I, oh my gosh, my old room was such a disaster. I would have so much stuff in one spot that I couldn't even find any place to put some of my stuff. It's just no joke. I would never be able to put stuff away or have places to put things because I had too much stuff on one piece of furniture and it really, really is irritating. Number eight on my list would have to be having to move things to dust. Now, I hate having to do that. I mean, it's like we all have to like dust our room every so often. I mean, it's just a pain and I can't, and I hate air dusters because air dusters like are such a pain to use. They don't work, work and it's such a pain to dust everything. And I don't even know, do you guys, have you guys ever used an air duster? Let me know down in the comments below because I tried using an air duster. I can never get it to work work and it really bothers me when I have to move everything to dust because I have to dust the object that's on my furniture. I have to dust my actual furniture and it's just a lot of work just to dust. Number nine on my list have to be finding a bunch of junk. Now I have a bad habit of keeping so much junk in my room. I didn't even realize I had too much junk in my room. room. I remember I used to have, I don't know if you guys remember the brown dresser with the mirror. That I had that with my grand great grandmothers. I had that and I just threw a whole bunch of junk in there that I just found around my room. I didn't even know why I used it. I hate I don't even know why I used it or kept all that junk. I just was a dresser full of just a whole bunch of junk that I never even used. Use and that's thing, one of the things that bothers me. So my mom and I cleaned out the dresser and took the old dresser out of my room because it was just taking up too much space. Okay, which is a good thing because that room was a lot bigger now that I got rid of that dresser. Number 10 on my list would have to be my carpets getting stained. Now, now that's one thing I hate about having carpet in my room. I used to have carpet all along my downstairs hallway. I'll show you guys actually. So I don't know if you can see that this is my hallway upstairs. So I used to have carpet coming from up. I don't know if you can see my fingers, sorry. Um, up here, down here. Here, and now we have tile floor right here and this is what it looks like and the carpet would lead into my old room then it would go into my roommate's room at the time and then it would go into my the room which is now my room so we had carpet all over the place but we tore it out and I got I was so happy because honestly it was just a pain to clean it was not getting clean and it was just getting stained over and over again and then we'd have to pay to get the carpets clean so that was like very, very irritating because it got kind of pricey to clean the carpets. And then we tried doing it ourselves. And no matter how many times we did, we worked to get the stains out of the carpet, they still just kept coming back. It was just not the best carpet. I mean, carpet is just so hard to clean. Just from my experience having carpet, it's just so hard to clean and it's just a pain to get the stains out. So if you guys have carpet in your house and you don't mind having carpet in your house, that's totally okay. I mean, everybody's different. Not everybody likes to have carpet in the house. And I just personally hate having carpet and we only just got it because my stepdad at the time wanted my sister to be safe. So we thought the carpet would keep her safe, but actually it was just a pain because it was just kept getting stained. It was messy and it was just really hard to clean. So, and I'm so glad we got rid of the carpet by the time I was 21 because um, 
it literally just was such a pain to clean. So those are my top 10 messy room pet peeves. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week one. I'll see you very soon. Bye.